Hello and welcome to Intersex News. Yes, um, my little correspondent went off on a little mission today and found uh, an article about Kleinfelter Syndrome. What is Kleinfelter Syndrome, you're asking? Do you want to know? Okay. Kleinfelter Syndrome was first described in a paper of 1942 by Dr. Harry Kleinfelter and colleagues. It occurs only in males and is due to a chromosomal abnormality. A chromosome is a rod-like structure present in the nucleus of all body cells with the exception of the red blood cells and which stores genetic information. Normally humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes, the unfertilized ova and each sperm carrying a set of 23 chromosomes. On fertilization the chromosomes combine to give a total of 46, 23 pairs. A normal female has an XX pair and a normal male an XY pair. The male affected by Kleinfelter syndrome has two X chromosomes as well as one Y, resulting in the formation XXY. A mosaic form also occurs where only a percentage of body cells contain XXY while the remainder carry XY. The extent of the effect will depend on the, upon the proportion of XXY to XY throughout the body. There is an enormous variation in the expression of this condition. The commonest symptom is infertility. Some men are entirely normal and the diagnosis is only made for an incidental reason. It's important to give an open diagnosis to such children and not just paint a picture of the full-blown condition which is described below. It may be that just some of the features are present, such as tall stature or delayed puberty. The syndrome is characterized by small testes, sterility and scant body hair. Breast development may appear after puberty in 25% of those affected. In some cases, intellectual difficulties, especially in verbal skills, may be experienced. Additionally, psychological problems with self-image may be experienced by adolescent boys and adult men. Other chromosome abnormalities involving more than two X chromosomes in males may lead to learning difficulties. Okay, so that's uh, Kleinfelter syndrome in a nutshell. Um, by the um, medical community out there. That would be their definition of it. And of course, I have my own. But there you go. There you go. Ciao, ciao. Bye now. <laughs>